great girlfriends, get ready for the 2018 Doers and Disruptors Conference in New York City. This year's conference is dedicated to igniting great girlfriends, putting your ideas into motion, and moving the needle to get the results that you desire out of life. Join us June 21st and 22nd in New York City for a two-day event with brilliant doers and disruptors across various industries who started with an idea and blossomed to become change agents, global influencers, and enterprise leaders. At the conference, you'll gather for workshops, panels, connect groups, dance breaks, light bites, and more while getting tips and resources to fulfill your passion in your personal life, your career, your business, motherhood, relationships, and more. Don't miss this opportunity to join forces with women who are on the same mission as you and experience the excitement and impact that only Brandis and I can bring to life. Get your tickets now at thegreatgirlfriendsconference.com. We'll see you there. Welcome to the Great Girlfriends Podcast, where we discuss life, love, laughter, and everything in between. We're your hosts. I'm Sybil Amuti. And I'm Brandis Daniel. And before we jump into this week's episode of the podcast, make sure you sign up for our newsletter at thegreatgirlfriends.com. And don't forget to leave us an amazing iTunes review. Yes, that is the payment for listening to this podcast. (laughs) I love it. Five stars all the way. Let's do it. Let's do it. What's up, great girlfriends? It's Sybil here, and I'm flying solo again. Brandis, where are you, girl? No, I'm just joking. She is actually um, preparing for the conference, as I am as well. But we are one day away from Doers and Disruptors, and I'm so excited because we have so many amazing women coming in from around the nation and some from outside the country. So I'm really, truly excited. And for those of you that were not able to get a ticket for this year, stay tuned because we will be announcing the dates for 2019 much earlier than you think. And you'll want to be a part of that. You'll want to get an early bird ticket. You definitely don't want to think twice on that. So before I jump into this week's episode, I definitely want to shout out our partners and say thank you so much to the brands that have stepped in to support this conference moving forward. And I want to start with WeWork. Thank you so much, WeWork. Thank you so much to the W Hotel Times Square. Thank you so much to Miss Jessie's. Thank you so much to Eden Body Works. Thank you so much to Kula. Thank you so much to Terra Chips, to Macy's, to L'Oreal. And the list goes on and on and on. We are so super grateful to all the brands that have come together to make this experience amazing for all of you girlfriends. So I promise you, Doers and Disruptors will be a life changer for everyone that's in this year and for everyone that's prepping to come next year. But meanwhile, grab your pen and paper jump right into this week's episode. I promise you, you will want to listen from beginning to end. And last but not least, if you are going to Essence Festival, we're inviting you to visit us at the Walmart stage on Friday morning, where we'll be hosting some great girlfriend activities. We love this moment that we share with Walmart every year. We've been doing it for two years now, so this will be our third year. And the Walmart stage is one of the best absolute stages at Essence Festival. So make sure you join us Friday morning at the Walmart stage at Essence Festival in New Orleans, and we will see you there. Real quick, since Brandis wants to put me on blast, I want Brandis to do for you her Sybil impersonation when I drop my kids off and I'm scheduling a play date. <laughs> and she on the phone, but I don't even know she's listening. I didn't even know she was paying attention. And I'm waving to my friend. And here's Brandis. Go ahead. Julie, so great to see you. Play date soon. Oh, a pencil it is. <laughs> That's how you schedule a play date. Legit. That's oh, how you do it. I'm not about that play date life. I'm just saying, I'm just going to wait until sky turns no. seven Mm-mm. and you want to have like an afternoon to just clip your toenails and you want to... They are not strangers. Play dates, you get play dates with people who are compatible Mm -hmm. with your family. I'm keeping things the way they kept it when I was growing up. We didn't have play dates. You played with your cousins. Our cousins came over. Or you played in the dirt. My god sisters (laughs) came over. I played with my neighbors. Oh, look, Alnisa, I sound just like, they said I sound just like you, Sybil. Whatever. (laughs) We're we're talking to, um, so on Facebook Live, the great girlfriends can actually comment back to us. So, Someone just said that I sound just like Sybil, so I'm I'm quite thankful for Anissa for giving me my props on my Sybil impression. Well, let me just do my brandis. Welcome. 
<laughs> Welcome. And I, we so glad y'all here. I mean, y'all just, we just welcome because <laughs> I'm just crying again for the fifth time in the hour because God is so good. I mean, when HFR started, I didn't have a chair. <laughs> I didn't have no clothes. I had nothing. Shut and up. then all my friends stepped in. <laughs> and I'm just so grateful. Y'all I'm about oh. to cry again. I'm about to cry again. I think I'm about to cry again. And she acts shocked every time she cried. We got on a panel, y'all. She looked at me. She was like, I think I'm about to cry. <laughs> Uh, great girlfriends. I think I'm going to delete this out of our episode because... This is good content. This is, this is the truth this is, right here. This is not truth. You know, Sybil, that was retaliation. This was, I don't it, appreciate it that. Truth. That's not great girlfriend behavior at all. You know what? Whatever. At all. Whatever. Tiffany, Jessica, B, testify. Y'all know it's true. That's, That's how Brandis true. does it. That's not true. So anyway, we I'm are... I'm very poised. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, ain't nobody giving you a like, <laughs> a, a thumb. How you do a thumb down? We need a thumb down. I am very poised. She's very poised. So we are live at WeWork in Dumbo Heights. Uh, get this. We've had this office for, what, four, four months. months? How many times have we been to this office? Like two. Barely. This is my second time Actually, in the building. this is our first time together. using our real office together. Y'all, I didn't even know what office was ours. That's so sad. We didn't I, know I didn't have, have a key. key. <laughs> <laughs> Paying for our office had no key, had nothing. But if you're not a part of a WeWork community, I love it. I love it. It's so good. Can if we, I knock off WeWork from Memphis? I know. I would I really. Know. I'm sorry, WeWork. I'm we need so to repli- sorry. We I love replicate. Y'all, but we don't knock off. We replicate. Yeah, yeah. We innovate. Inspired. We We're innovate. Inspired. I'll we be innovate. inspired by. <laughs> That's what they say in the fashion world That's when right. they knocking people I'm off. So They're like, I'm so inspired by. by. Mm-hmm. Yes, we're so inspired by WeWork that we might need to invest in locating one in uh, the 901. Yeah. That's what we need to do. But if we open this door, y'all, it's like Friday happy hour out there. So if you hear any music, uh, we endorse the music, but it's not. it didn't come from us. We didn't, yeah. we, we, we not that hype today. We're not. We're not. So, hope everybody's having a fantastic summer. Um, we just had a really um, good conversation with the GGs. Um, about the cultural climate and the intensity that's going on right now. And even individually, we talked about uh, this episode that we're so excited about. We are. Brandis and I have been having intense girlfriend dialogue all week. Um, This is the week of the Alton Serling shooting, the Philando Castile shooting, and um, the mass shooting of five officers in Dallas by Micah Avery Johnson. And so it's left a lot of dialogue open for us in terms of what are solutions. And um, one thing that we know as girlfriends is that Women are quick to solve problems. We like solving problems, right? We like to create them sometimes, but we like to fix them more, That's I so think. That's so true. Um, and now when it comes to our men, we step up. Yeah. we st- Y'all, I mean, we come through for our guys, we right? Do. We do. We show up for our guys. And um, even when we don't feel like they've shown up for us, we still show up and we get present and we get active. And so, um, but sometimes we neglect the personal show up. We don't yeah. always show up for ourselves. That's so true. But we tend to show up for other people. So we thought we'd dedicate this episode because we said, you know, after Martin you know, was assassinated, um, our community was left without a hero. And then we start talking about from women, you know, everyone is sort of waiting on a hero. Mm. Um, everyone's still looking for a person that's going to come and give this grand speech mm. and give this movement to help press push everyone forward, right? Mm. And I think for women for a while, uh, we leaned on Oprah as a hero, right? Mm. And then, um, you know, when Oprah started to do things that everybody didn't agree with, maybe spiritually she had different decisions that she made or um, she was off TV for a while, people started to say, all right, who's my new hero? Right. And, um, you know, I think we, we all sort of went on a quest for a hero and it left a lot of people void. Yeah, so absolutely. Today we wanted to talk about the hero that all of us, um, all of us individually been... and collectively. Yep have been waiting for. And I'm not talking about a savior, to be clear, because there is a difference for me in the savior and a hero. Absolutely. So, Brandis, you take over from here. 
So we were talking about kind of how, you know, we want to talk about how this uh, affects women. And we were just going to go through a few things that Sybil and I talked about and just how this affects women. One of the things that we do when we're waiting on a hero is we tend to put things on hold because we're waiting mm-hmm. on the right time or the right person to come along and make things happen. Say that again, girl. And you guys know this happens personally. Sometimes women are like, no, I'm not going to buy a house because I'm going to wait to do that when I get married. Well, are you dating? No, I'm not dating. So, so, so right, what are we right. waiting on? Yeah. You know, yeah. or sometimes it's... Um, I'm not going to start a business because, you know, I want to wait on, I don't know, people wait on all kinds of things. I want to wait. Partner. I want to wait on a business partner. Yeah. I want to wait on the proper financing. Right. I'm waiting on all kind of stuff. Or some stamp to of move approval. Forward. Yep. Yep. I'm not going to move forward with this business because I'm waiting on, you know, what we love to talk about. I'm waiting on it. I'm, I'm going to wait till I get this certificate. I got to get certified. Girl, I, gotta I can't get, just go gotta, do that business without. I got to get certified. <laughs> I got to get certified. I have a cousin who, um, my cousin has been golfing since she was a kid. Mm-hmm. Like, she's been got Kim, I'm calling you out. Say- Kimberly Brooks, oh, I'm wow. calling you out on the podcast. Yes, you did just call out. Kim- I'm calling her Kim- out. Kimberly, she just, she just outed you. Mike, if you go to her house, she got golf clubs everywhere. Wow. She has been golfing since she was a kid. She went to college on a golf scholarship. Oh, wow. Now, what women do you know who've gone to, scholarship, gone to college on a golfing in a good school? Yeah. And now she works on Wall Street. And every time I'm like, Kim, you have to start something. You have to do something. Like, we want to learn how to golf. Women need to learn how to connect on the, you know, on the golf course as well. We want to know, why can't you start a business around something that you absolutely love? And she's right. like, I think I need to go get certified. And I said, are you kidding me? <laughs> she's talking to the cliff jumper. Are you not knowing? <laughs> kidding me? And, and let's not even mention this chick here has played golf with the, I think, the person who's under the chairman of the company. And wow. she works for a major financial institution. Mm-hmm. And she beat him. Wow. On, oh, and he owned the golf course, by the way. Oh. On his golf course. Yeah. And she needs to go get certified. Ma'am, yes. I'm going to eat you. To, that's your certification yeah. right there. You know, we always were waiting on stuff to push forward for whatever reason. I mean, it's even when you start thinking about... Um, in the workplace, a lot of times we're waiting on a promotion because we think that other people will promote us. When truth be told, you better go ask you for that promotion and tell them why you deserve it. Tell them why you're next and tell them what you what you plan to see accomplished and how you're going to see it happen. Absolutely. And that's just it. It's that waiting on the right person. Waiting on a raise. And waiting on a raise. I mean, wait, when I say years, I'm now, I'm about to call out one of my little boos. I ain't going to call her full <laughs> name because she would come to my house <laughs> and she would show up. But I hired her when I was the director of human resources for Bed Bath and Beyond in 2005. Wow! I hired her as my HR assistant. Wow! She just left. Wow! This year to go wow. take a position at Madison Square Garden. So how many years later? That's 11 years later that wow. she was there. She got promoted to an HR director, but she didn't get the financial promotion that she was waiting for. We talked. Annually, probably and what, every, is she, what, what hero is she waiting on? She, her hero left the building. I told her to get out. I said, girl, like, you I'm need like, to exit left no. quick. But she stayed around and she kept waiting on people to, to, to build her up and to promote her and to give her the package. And I told her, and I'll tell anybody this on this record, I believe it's very hard for you to get the financial and the promotional increase that you want inside of the same building. You have to t- go to a different me, company. But let me tell you this. I just heard a story, a true story, of a guy that my niece knows who went into to the HR department and I believe he asked them for a $100,000 raise. Mm-hmm. Now, he didn't get the whole thing, uh-huh. but he got a lot. Nice. Because imagine as you as HR director, if somebody comes in and asks you for a $3,000 raise, you're looking like... But if somebody comes in and asks you for a $50,000 raise, you're you better like, be bringing the heat. No, but and you're like, <laughs> wait a minute, who is this person? What that? Like, it makes you look at that person totally different absolutely. because you're trying to figure out this person must be absolutely amazing if they're coming into my office asking for $50,000 raise. And let me tell you guys, men do it all the freaking time. Oh my God. We're going in talking about, can I have a $2,000 raise? $2,000 raise, I can't even get you coffee every day from Starbucks. $2,000 can't pay for a good 
a me gift. Girl, I can't give two thousand dollars. You don't put me in a you, and say thank you to Sybil for getting nothing. Get, Girl, please, I'm getting a small. You can't get nothing. But the thing is, we're waiting on somebody to give us something. We're waiting on somebody right. to to say, okay, it's time for this. That's right. We're waiting on somebody to come give us a baton to to, to go to the next level when. Nobody's coming. Nobody's it's, coming. I'm gonna give you the. I'm gonna give you the news. Nobody's coming. No, no one. You want it? You get it. You That's go right. get it. You ask for it. The other thing that we do is we forsake the power of right now. Yeah. So we always have this anticipation or aspiration of a later time when things will get better or when things will change for us or when things are going to pop off or when this uh, this sort of imaginary moment will happen because we're so good at creating uh, imaginative moments. And that's not the problem. The problem is that right now is the best time to start activating every single step that's going to take us toward those Let moments. Let tell you, you just stepped on my toes. Uh-oh. Because <laughs> you just stepped on my toes. Uh-oh. I'm going to admit it because I am supposed to be finishing up my book, which I've started on. Yeah, me too. And in my see, <laughs> and in my head, at some point, I'm going to have time. But guess what, Brandis? You're never going to have time, and you know why? Because you only have one baby now. Eventually, I'm going to have more. two. Yeah. And so you think you think I'm going to get more time? <laughs> <laughs> I. I ain't going to even lie. Okay, fine. Sybil over here looking all crazy because Prego Brandis is, she's interesting. She's fabulous, but she's interesting. But, um, uh, <laughs> but anyway. No, but it's true. Yeah. Uh, but, but it's, but, it's not going to get better. And so even the more successful you get at something, guess what? The less time you're going to have. So there's not going to be a right time where everything in your world is going to stop so you can complete that project. Right. And then what, and what's wrong with doing what you can? Can do right now. Just do what you can What's do. What's wrong? And so sometimes when you know when you're waiting on a hero, you're waiting on a hero to help accomplish this finished work. Yes. This finished thing. Yes. You know, and we think that that finished thing is an all of a sudden. That's it's just so this suddenly true. I'm married, or suddenly I'm promoted, or suddenly I have a business and it's thriving, or suddenly when it just is when, little it, steps. Yeah, and there's every a, day. right now yep. equals little steps, incremental steps. Yep. Because you say you don't have time, and I say you have 24 hours. Yeah. You do. And I have 24 hours. And and you, girlfriends, you have 24 hours every single day. Every single day. And if you don't like those hours, God can take them from you. Ooh. Hello. Ooh. Ooh. Right? They Simple, could, they could get snatched, though. That was harsh. But isn't that the truth? That's if you don't truth. like the time that you're truth. given, that was harsh. how about it gets stripped from you and see how you like it? Ooh. Right? So we have to stop pretending that right now is not good enough. Ooh, mic drop. Mic drop, boom. Boom. But seriously, we really have I to mean, stop that. That's so true. Because what in the world are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? When I'm, is the time going to come? It, the time I think is in our right. minds, we're going to be on a beach somewhere and there's going to be nothing to do and nobody disturbing us and we're going to be there by ourselves. And by the way, girlfriends, if you are a person who's in the position to go somewhere and go on a beach and nobody's bothering you, go now. Run. Go because book the trip today. Back, I'm, I'm going to be looking for you to give you something to do because it's plenty to do. You know, it's plenty to book do. Book the trip today because your life might not always be set up like that. Right. So we talked about this. We said you put things on hold, waiting on the right time with the right person. Yes. You've forsaken the power of right now, but you think right now is not good enough. But right. number three. Number three is we feel forsaken taken by others because we delay taking control of certain areas of our life and moving our picture forward. So we start thinking that when we start start seeing friends moving forward and we start seeing other people getting promoted in the company and we start seeing people get results all around us, we feel like we've been forsaken and we've, yep. forsaken, and we've been neglected and we've been overlooked yep. because someone, this this virtual hero has not come in, swooped up, grabbed yes. Brandis up, put her in the place that she wants yes. to be in. And so we start to take on the idea that people have neglected us yes. and that we we're disqualified and that maybe we're not good enough. That's so true. Maybe we looked and listened to Cinderella stories and stuff too much when we were younger. It's possible. It's possible. Because a princess is waiting on a prince, right? Yeah. A princess is just waiting. waiting. My mama never fed me that joke. And your your story is going to be so much better when that prince comes and yeah. all your financial woes are going to go away. Child, please. I met and my husband gonna live with in a, the worst crazy. And you're going to live in okay. a beautiful <laughs> home and you guys are going to have beautiful children. You're going to have a full-time nanny you and a chef. You want to know about my prince? You want to know about my prince? 
My prince had a 500 square foot apartment in Harlem. His credit was probably like a 620. He was, but he was full of he was full of possibility, and he's lived up to every single measure of it. So my point is. It wasn't about... But didn't you at some point think you were going to have a prince that could just scoop you up and take no, care of you? No, I, I was never that girl. Oh, Honestly, gosh. I was never the girl. I wasn't even on the... I didn't have an eye out for that kind of thing. Mm-mm-mm. I've always been a right now, say let's so. move, let's go. I think I, I, think I was like... No. I think I, I have been... A, I, in my life, I've been a person who waited on a hero. No. Well, Which in is my, crazy. In my life, and then I, I grew up. But not And then I understood guys. that life... Life, life don't work that way. Life doesn't work that way. Yeah. No, and you know, I mean, for a long time, I'll say when I was in college, I didn't, you know, not when I was dating, but when I saw that things need to get done that felt beyond my physical capacity, I would wait till my dad came to town. And, and I had like, a list. Right. Daddy, I need you to do the following. So, I mean, and there were certain places where I did, but I never did it with guys, but for sure. But I think as women, um, as a collective if we sit down and talk to, say, 20 women and ask them, how do they feel when it comes to, especially on their who relationship you tip? On? Who you waiting on? Who you waiting on? Oh, what are you waiting on? Everybody will probably look around and see who's going to say it first. Yep. Because who are waiting on? we're waiting. And, and I Go back call, to what episode was that, Kwaku? Oh, 32 dating Kwaku. preferences Go back versus to episode standards. 32. But, but what happens is we start thinking that other people are better than us, but they're not better than us. They're they just better. decided... Because guess what? We found out who the hero is. Yeah. Y'all waiting on this? Y'all waiting on this. In case you haven't figured it out by now, the hero is... Do that drum roll again. Girl, the hero is you. Yes. Don't you love that? Yes. I love the idea that I'm my own hero. <laughs> I'm my own hero. I love that. I feel I am so my empowered own by that. Hero. Because yes. that means I don't have to wait on people because I'm impatient to begin with. You don't have to wait on anybody. <laughs> I don't have to wait you on You don't people. have to wait on anybody. I can be the hero of my scenario. You want a promotion? Go I ask can for go the promotion. After it. And guess what? Nobody's chaining you to that job. No one changed you to it. You're not contractually obligated no. to that job. I told you my can boo-boo, walk out at any given day. My my boo boo that was at you know the company with me for years before she left. Every year we talked and she's like, I just need to go, and I would tell her, Go. Where am I going to go? To a better job with more opportunity. Right. Who can respect you and honor the work that you bring to the table? But and she stayed. But the challenge is, um, I have a friend. I got to give Leslie her props because Leslie has been preaching this to me for I don't know how long. But when people have the scarcity mindset, oh girl, come on. And when you start thinking that there's only but so much there's only but so much money there's only but so many men there's only but so many opportunities there's only but so many jobs there's only but so much whatever it is when you think like that that is absolutely your reality yeah when you think in abundance there is so much to be had there's so many opportunities there's so much money out there there's so many jobs out there there's so many men out there when you think like that your life that manifests itself in your life and the truth you know is that we're only as limited as the mental cage that we place ourselves yes. in yes cuz ain't nothing stopping you there's nothing stopping you so i don't know who's surprised by the fact that the hero is you but i see that pamela williams said you alnisa reed said you as we we're on the facebook live but um there are a lot of us out here who have learned through a bunch of trial and error don't yes. get it twisted it took a lot of mistakes for yes. us to recognize that um the hero lived within but once we found it out, my God, the ability. Yeah. I mean, honestly, Sib, I wish right now, guys, I'm going to be quite honest with y'all. I wish there was a hero that can just come and snatch about 20 pounds off of my body. Come on. Come <laughs> like, on. Like, come on. I, and I wish there was I a hero. I wish there was a hero that could just snatch these 20 pounds. This I baby my weight. financial hero could come drop a quick 100K <laughs> into <laughs> my bank account to help, to help supplement some of these things. Things that are going on. Ooh. You know, I, I I wish that, but but then I realized that God has given me all things pertaining He's to life me and godliness. So yep. what does that mean? The hero is in here. The, the hero is I'm right in here. It's in, in here. you. So what is it that I need to do to, to get help it. to manifest what Absolutely. I need to see the results Ooh, I'm looking this is for? Good stuff today. Y'all. It's so empowering because honestly, I think so many times that when we talk about that mental cage, all we start doing is add more bars to it. More yes, bars. and we add our own bars. We add our own bars. We add our own bars. Because 
I don't have time because of this. Bar. I don't have money because of this. Bar. I don't have these relationships in my life. Bar. I don't have this type I can't of support. Travel. Mm-hmm. I, I, like, yeah, I, I'm a single mom, so things are harder girl, for me. Girl, we just of this. add bars and bars All and bars and bars. And before we know it, we so caged in. Caged. We like this. And the truth is, we have these conversations in the mirror, in the car, on the way home, you know, while we're cooking or when we're going to bed. And that's why, you know, honestly, side note, but that's why this podcast is so important or feeding yourself with with stimulating content is so important on the ride home, when you're in the mirror getting dressed in all these moments where you spend those me moments and you're not empowering yourself. That's why you need content like this just Absolutely. don't say to, to help get you all the way right in the mind because we have to reinforce the good things and we, we have, have to, to be able to uh, get completely isolated or diminish all the bad things. Absolutely. So so what are the solutions said? Girl, first fix. Number one. Y'all ready for this? We're ready. Number one is to ask yourself the question, if I'm the hero I've been waiting on, what would I do? Ooh. What would I what do? What would I do? So if I'm the hero that I'm waiting on, right? So I want to add an extra $100,000 to my household. Yes. What would I do? Yes. I said, well, I'm going to go out and get some more contracts. Right. I'm going to pursue right. more business to help grow my base right. as a consultant. That's what I'm going to do. Five contracts for 20K. Hello? Or one, one contract, big old 100K. One contract for 100K. You yeah, know what absolutely. I'm saying? But if, if I'm the hero that I've been waiting on, and if I say and say it in different areas, if I'm the spiritual hero that I've been waiting mm. on, what do I need to do? Yes. How do I need to supplement my spiritual life? Yes. If I'm the physical hero that I've been yes. waiting on concerning my weight loss journey, maybe yes. I don't need a trainer. I keep calling for this trainer or this right, right gym or you know this perfect scenario what can I do in my house yes right or if I'm the community yes. hero if I'm the business hero mm. if I'm the professional hero if I'm the relationship hero yes. and I want somebody to know that I'm single and that I'm available what right. should I do right I love one right. of our girlfriends sent an email do you remember this like in June she sent it out to probably 15 people and she said FYI I just want to let you guys know that I'm available now and I'm ready to start dating again did you don't remember that? I'll tell you offline who it was. Blessed my life. I was I like, don't remember yes. remember that. Yes. She I sent us an look. email and she said, I'm now ready. Who was it? I can't keep t- on this <laughs> microphone. Girl, that's the way I would fit. You said she tried to get me to what? You know what? One of my friends sent an email one time and said, I just want you guys to know that I'm available to go on outing. So if you have a plus one, I, love I would like for you guys to consider me because I want to get out more. I love that. She did. I love and that. And it made the biggest difference because sometimes you just don't think. I love that. Yeah. Perfect. Number two. Number two, plan, prepare, execute. Boom. That's Boom. It. That's it. Boom. Because things look so big, but when you say, Okay, Brandis, I want the right I wanna write the book and I want the book to be done, guess what? I can keep saying that for three years or I could write a page a day. You know, what's that three sixty five times three? Hello? <laughs> you know, I can write a page a day and I can have a book written. A three hundred and sixty five page book is quite adequate. That's right. Absolutely. So you know, so you have to decide kind of what you're gonna do to prepare for this. Build a timeline. Yeah. Yep. All the great heroes of past and present plan, prepare, and execute. Anything that you've seen a hero do successfully, they've done it successfully because they took the time to plan. They prepared with strategy and they executed on it. Absolutely. Don't be void of anyone else. If you're missing out on the execution, it's because the planning and the preparation are poor. And don't keep planning and planning and planning and planning and planning and planning and planning (laughs) and preparing and preparing and preparing. And then don't execute, don't execute, don't execute. Because I know so many people, they've been planning, got that plan down. Oh my gosh, got the plan down. But it's three parts to this. It's planning, the preparation, the execution. It's all three of those things that work. They work together. You can't do one without the other. And then the third solution is accountability. Yes. Let's say it together. Accountability. Accountability. You need your friends in your corner, your coach, your planner, someone who can help facilitate the implementation of your goals. Plain and simple. It's one thing for me to tell someone something. Oh, excuse me. One thing for me to tell myself something and say I'm going to do it and then plan, prepare, execute in my head. It's another thing for me to call on a friend that I know. That I know going to call me to the carpet on it and be like, Sybil, what happened? Yep. Whatever happened to this? Yep. Are you doing X, Y, and Z? Yep. This one used to drive me nuts. 
last summer. We would go play to the point where she'd be like, you want to go? And I'm like, nope. <laughs> we would get in public. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We would get in public and people would be, and they wouldn't even be asking us, so what's next? They would just be talking about life. We just haven't talked. Just, just simple stuff. How's the weather? Oh, you know, and this is Brandis. Oh, you know we starting a podcast. You know we starting a podcast. You know Only we starting we a podcast. Reco- have we recorded we one yet? recorded nothing. <laughs> we haven't recorded anything. And she would be telling people about this virtual podcast. And I would be screaming and cringing in my head like, Brandis, would you no, shut No, oh. before, before we went to the event, so we'll say, Brandis. Brandis. Come on, we going can't. In here we, now. We're going to this party, but you cannot tell anybody about this Say, podcast. And promise. And, and promise. She'd be, promise. She'd be like, and promise. I can't promise. Because that. I'm a brand strategist. <laughs> And I can't have people out here thinking that I'm raggedy and I don't have a, and I don't and I don't have my stuff together. And we all know that Sybil has her stuff together. Girl, she she'd be like, "This nervous. is this is my brand. Legacy Row is my <laughs> brand. We cannot be out here telling people we have a podcast and we have nothing to show." That is so real, <laughs> girlfriends. I used to be on her back, like, say, say promise, say promise. When we get out this car, can't, say promise. I can't because, promise, but I'll try my best. Oh, my God. She would be out there. <laughs> but there was something about the accountability that set my butt on fire, y'all. I was like, all right, listen. So then I start hounding her. All right, let's get the plan she did, together. She did. Let's prepare. Let's she execute. Did. And so she you did. know, I put some ground rules. Brandis Daniel, if we're going to do this podcast, we must have set a date. Three, first, we're going to set a date. She has set the date. No. Yeah, we didn't set a date. Somebody, one random person. It may have been Tiffany Budgenista at uh, Kamika's event. Well, oh, really? When's it launching? July 29th. <laughs> what? The what? <laughs> what? I don't even look at Sybil when I do stuff like that. What? I'm not even looking over. I'm just going to keep talking to the person. July 29th? <laughs> It's June. <laughs> what are you talking about? Why are we oh saying Lord. this to humans? So we got back in the background. Hey, listen, we're doing this. This this is the rule to it. We got to get a plan together. We got to yep. prepare and we got to execute. But you know what it was? We talked for months about the need for women to have what we thought we could deliver on. We didn't wait on them. We said, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. And, and, and we'll, Sybil made us record, but 12 episodes? Three months. I said, listen, said three months worth of episodes. You are big and pregnant. We are not doing this without three months of episodes. We need a website. We need all, blah, 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 blah. all the brand it. stuff. She did. She <laughs> so did. So we got together and we did it. But the point is, take these solutions. Number one, ask yourself the question, if I'm the hero that I've been waiting for, what, what would I, I do? That's power. That's that like is so powerful. If, I'm the, if, if I am the time that I've been waiting for, oh my if I if I have the time, if all the time I've been waiting for in my head, I have it. What, what would I, I do? What would I be doing with it? What would I be doing Girl, with it? If I had somebody. all the money that I needed, if if all the all the connection to the resources that I need are within me. What, what would I, I do? Doing? What is it that I would do? What would do? I do? Because a lot of times we have, like, not a lot of times, all the time, we have everything we need. Everything we We're need. afraid to ask people. Yep. We're afraid to tell people what we need. We're afraid to be vulnerable. But that's the end. That, that's the key. And we're good for it. Not right now. Yeah. Not right now. Not yeah. right now. Not right now. Not right now. Not right now. We're, yeah. good. we're good for saying that. So number one, make sure you ask yourself that question. Number two, let's all say it together. I see how Nissa said it in our Facebook live yes. group. But we are to plan, prepare, prepare and, and execute. execute. Play. It's so simple. Don't and make it complex, girlfriends. Don't make that complex. Yep. That's simple. Absolutely. That's simple. And you do that over and over yes. and over again. Yes. Over and over and over again. And if the plan's not going right, you go back and plan. Yes. And you again. prepare and you execute again. Absolutely. Number three. Number three is accountability. Have somebody in your life you can be accountable to, whether that's your great girlfriends, whether that's a coach that you hire, whether that's a brand strategist that you hire, such as Simba Lamuti from Legacy Row. Boom, pal. If that's that's a planner or someone who can help you facilitate your goals. Absolutely. The point is have the accountability and, and pick somebody that you know will get you to the results that you're looking for. Absolutely. Because I'm going to say this. The years progress. We're in 2016. We're in 2016. Who knew? You know, Look, I was going to say, hell, we in July. <laughs> we are. We, we are we middle are of 2016. We are in July. Can you guys... I feel like we just did the episode on New Year, New Story. Yeah, we that just was, did it. I feel like we just did that, but we did that in January. We did that in January. We now did that we're in, in January. July. 
It, we got six months so left fast. in a year. We're yeah. uh, the first half of the year is done. Wrap it up with a bow. That's right. And That's lay right. that sucker to the side and get ready for the next half of the year. That's right. And if you're not pleased with the results that you got in the first half of the year, listen, I would take right after I log off this episode and go give the uh, iTunes review. Oh, yes. Hint, hint. I would go and sit down somewhere and just start asking myself these questions and getting the solutions in place. And I would grab a friend to do it with me Absolutely. because you want to be able to bounce some things off of someone else after you've done the internal assessment. But the hero is you. The hero is you. Surprise. Surprise. <laughs> It's you. <laughs> Surprise. And more than that, more than ever in our society, we need more heroic individuals, more heroic girlfriends to stand up and own their calling, Absolutely. own the purpose, and own the results that are that uh, we're all looking to get. That's what we need. So hopefully you've gotten what you needed out of this episode. Um, hopefully we've given you a gift in what we provided with this content. And we're so glad that you are with us on this great girlfriend journey. Absolutely. We're so excited. And for those of you who are checking out checking us out on Facebook Live, this is going to be episode 53. Episode 53. So if you want to go back and listen to this again, this is going to be episode number 53. Episode 53. You yes. Got it. So we are so grateful. So, I mean, let me just say this again. Grateful. 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 Oh, we're so grateful. grateful. We're grateful to God for the time that we have, for giving us the ability to be our own hero, right? Yeah. And for giving us all the tools that we need to be empowered. We're grateful to you guys. We're grateful to our husbands. So grateful to our hubbies. Y'all know. Y'all know. If y'all didn't see the pictures from Essence, those guys held it they down. They held us down. They and was, they challenged us too. Yes, so. they, they back did. That, Kwaku was like, why y'all ain't got this book written? Oh and then Laura and then Rich, him and Rich in the car together starting to talk about uh, uh, revenue. All the, stuff, all the stuff we not doing. <laughs> I'm like, come on, guys. Can we just, can we breathe? They're like, but, oh. but again, you need it's that accountability. accountability. Like, you need that accountability. I mean, I love that our husbands support us, but I also love that they challenge us. They challenge us. Absolutely. We don't, you know, hey, we get as many hugs as we do uh, pats on the hand. Like, Absolutely. go, girl. Um, so thank you. And thank you to our families, because what you don't know is while we are recording and while we're out uh, doing speaking and gaming and so forth, our families really support us. They are holding it Hold down. the babies and yes. keep, keep the kids. Yeah. And to all of our great girlfriends, thank you so much for trusting us as your go-to source for everything life, love, and laughter. You can listen on our website, iTunes, Stitcher, Blueberry, Podcast Republic. Podcast Bean. Podcast Bean. Wherever there's a podcast, we're there. Um, please remember to check us out on Instagram, The Great Girlfriends, Facebook, The Great Girlfriends, Twitter, The Underscore Great GFS, and tell all your friends to join our Facebook group as well yes. because we're on live now with oh, our yeah. Facebook group. We're live. Hey, it's all our ladies that are live with us. Thank you for hanging on for this episode recording. Yeah, so post your questions, share with your friends, hold on, go to iTunes and leave a review for the great, a five star review for the great girlfriends and a comment. That helps us grow, guys. So when just so you know, those reviews help other people believe in the power of what we're doing. It helps brands to understand what we're doing. When you leave your comments and you talk about the impact of the podcast, it really helps other listeners take interest. Absolutely. So we're at, we're, our goal is 50. Where are we at now? Do you know? We're at 24. Okay. So we need 26 more comments. So... We have eight people on, well, we have like 10, 15 people on Facebook Live. Yes. So you guys all go and oh. leave an iTunes review and all of you guys listening. So we're excited. I think we can make that goal by the end of this year. I mean, no, not by the end of this I year, by the yes. end of this month. Yes. We can do the month. month. Yes. Month. Yes. Month. All right. So here we are. Our last one. <laughs> okay. Keep, keep listening and keep being a great girlfriend. I'm Sybil. I'm Brandon. We're signing off.